Welcome to the Control M for Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you the most common cause of the issue where Control M job status takes 15 minutes to get updated in Control M Enterprise Manager. First, let's look at how the problem usually presents itself. Here we are in the Control M Workload Automation GUI client, and we are in the monitoring section, and we're looking at this test job, and this test job only executes the command hostname. And since it only executes the command hostname, it only takes probably a second to execute, if that. And as you can see from the previous run, this one ran at 12.19 and it ended at 12.19. This run at, and started at 12.22 and it ended at 12.22. Then at 12.23, something happened. And instead of um, reporting it ending at 12.23, it reported it ending at 12.30. And then we run it again at 12.30, and it reported it at 12.45. And we run it again at 13.19, and it reported it at 13.30. Based on those scenario, what can we conclude? Well, one, the control M agent seems to be unable to report to the control M server that the job has ended. And so the control M server is then unable to report to the control M enterprise manager that the job has ended. However, we, the control M server, is able to determine the status of the job every 15 minutes because the control M server runs a track all process every 15 minutes. So how do we diagnose the issue? Well, the first thing we do is log on to the control M agent and issue the ag underscore diag com. This is the communications diagnostics for the control M agent. As you can see, the Unix ping to control M server platform succeeded, and now the command is hanging to the agent ping to the control M server. That tells us that the control M agent is having problem communicating with the control M server using the agent to server port. Another way to test the connection is to issue the telnet command from the control M agent to the control M server. So we can use the telnet to clm-aus t1b01f using the agent to server port. And as you can see, that command will also hang. If it's able to connect, usually that command is immediate and you are able to connect using Telnet. And as you can see, the Telnet command timed out. So what's your next step? Your next step is to contact your network administration and tell them that you are having a problem with the port number being used by control M agent to communicate with the control M server. I also wanted to show you what the output of the AG diagram would be when it finally comes back. So if we switch back to the, our other session, we see that the agent ping to control M server failed and all our agent processes are running fine. It's just that we are having a communication issue. For the interest of this presentation, we've intentionally blocked the agent to server port um, we have since unblocked it, so we'll let's show you what the AG diagram output would look like when the port is unblocked. As you can see, the agent ping to control M server succeeds. Also, let's show you what happens with the telnet with the port unblocked. And as you can see, it immediately connects using telnet. And of course, the main test. What happens if we rerun our test job? Make sure it comes back right away um, that it has executed. Okay, we rerun it and it started on 1414 and it ended at 1414. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.